Dropping a student from a class indicates the student is no longer taking the class that is still going on. If a class is ended, the class should be archived, which will drop all students as part of the archive process. Students may be dropped using the drop link from the family record on the classes tab, from the student record on either the summary or classes tab, or from the class record on the enroll list tab. If a student is dropping a class to transfer to another class, use the transfer link instead. Enter the drop date as the day after the student's last day in class to allow you to take attendance for their last day. Select Yes if the student completed the class. A reason for the drop is required, and you can edit the list of drop reasons by going to the gear icon, Settings, General, drop down Lists. You may send the primary instructor an email that includes the student's last day in class, drop reason, and any notes that are entered below. This setting defaults to your organization defaults. Enter a note if you wish to further explain the reason for the drop and click the drop button. Click the drop button again to confirm the student should be dropped from the class, keeping in mind drops cannot be reversed. The student will need to be re-enrolled if they are dropped in error. If the family has a balance due, it is indicated and you may wish to review the family's account. If the class is not prorated and a student was enrolled and dropped in the same billing cycle, you have the option to delete the class enrollment. And if a tuition fee has been posted, both the class enrollment and the tuition fee. If you choose to delete the tuition fee and a payment has been applied to it, it is automatically unlinked from the fee and may result in a credit balance on the family's account. For more information, refer to our Help Center.